What's up? I'm Wanna Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon opening. We've tried so many times with Rebel Clash, and so far it hasn't been that great, but we are going to try again. Booster boxes haven't worked out too great. ETBs were not much better. We're gonna try three more BMB boxes. I think so far we opened up only one of these. We picked these up at GameStop where they had one of those offers where you spend $100 you get like 30% off so the main ticket item that we purchased were some more Hidden Fates tins so we got more tins coming uh, but then we filled it out to get to that $100 mark with these Rebel Clash boxes and some Burning Shadows packs so also more stabs at that Rainbow Charizard but today we're going to focus on these Rebel Clash boxes but as per our new tradition let's take a look at some cards I picked up recently and these ones are pretty good. Uh, these are Shadowless Base. So way back when it all began, uh, some of these already had in higher grades, but I thought the price was price was right, uh, especially given what they are right now. So let's just take a look. The first one we have is a Polyrath. That is a PSA 7. And yes, we do see that. Uh, Shadowless, in case you don't know, like, the way I look is just on this right border. It's much lighter, therefore Shadowless. So we have a Polyrath right there. And next is have a Magneton, also seven. You know, not too crazy high grades, but you know, obviously, it just means we got it for cheaper. But there you have it, another base set, Shadowless card, and our last one is a starter, Venusaur. This one is only a excellent to mint six, so not that high of a grade. But actually, so when it comes to my Shadowless base PSA set, this was by far the card that needed the improvement the most as it does replace this PSA 3. This card, uh, it's actually not terrible. Like you see a significant edge where I thought maybe it'll be bent or something. But, <clears throat> so we did get a significant upgrade in our Shadowless base set collection. Next on the docket is a Blastoise, which is at a five. I'm not sure when we're gonna have time to, or the, the uh, capital to upgrade that one. That one would be pretty expensive. But uh, that's it for the mail day. Now let's get into these boxes. All right, so for our promos, we got two flapples. This is the one we picked up in our first uh, b, b box. So three of them, all right. I guess uh, some people said they've been running into some flapples on ladder. And then a Luxray, all right. Sure, this doesn't sound that interesting. But let's get into our 12 packs. All right, what are we looking for? Of course, a boss's orders. I want the playset to have. And all the stuff we've opened, we've only found one. The card that we'll probably be least excited to see, although with these, there's no guaranteed rates or anything, would be Rillaboom. We pulled so many Rillaboom. All right, let's get into our first pack. So only four per box. Uh, so com basically coming up empty handed is not uncommon. Scoop up net, very good card. When is that going to get banned and expanded? A burning scarf is our first reverse. And okay, toxicity. Uh, I think we have plenty of these and it was also a promo already. I'm not crazy when they do that. Although the Whale Lord Magic card was probably like the best executed one. And we will take it, Toxtricity V. So our first box is not a complete dud. Let's get into pack number two. All right, as always, appreciate you guys stopping by and hope you do enjoy the comments. And especially these days, hope everyone's able to stay safe, stay healthy with everything that's going on. And, uh, yeah, hopefully things around the country start to move in a better direction in the near future. And if you do enjoy the content, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe for more uh, for future videos if you're not already, bell for notifications, and all right, let's see. That second pack didn't have anything too exciting. A Zatu, and then a Wish Cash. As long as you're putting for no damage done by attacks. On your bench, prevent all, oh, whatever. Bench barrier for just himself. That is not impressive. Man, yeah, we just struggle with this set like so bad. Horror energy, very nice. Although we're, I love these energy cards. I feel like they're so good. Well, we we have plenty of them at this point. 
It's just that boss's order. At this point, it's like, all right, just just give me the give me the regular hollows. I uh, don't need the full. I don't need the rainbow anymore. All right, and if you guys are looking for codes for the online game, tune into any of our streams. We typically stream Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, 7 p.m. EST, and we basically do code or pack giveaways throughout the stream. Vulpix and ooh, Eldegoss, very nice pickup. We're pretty good at Eldegoss. I think we have three at this point. I think they've all been the regular arts, but I am totally good with that. Happy mar happy match, such a strong ability. Let's see, still got uh, almost halfway through our second box at this point. Alright, let's see if we can get any good uncommons. Speed energy, very good. Although I think in the limit list, one of the Picaram decks only ran two of these, which I thought was surprising. I thought this would be a, a auto four of in any electric based deck. All right, winding down on the first box. So in case you didn't know, typically these products are for the pre-release events, which were obviously canceled uh, due to the virus and everything. All right, although usually you could buy these in stores like GameStop anyway. Chandelure and a Intellion V. Uh, I actually think this is a pretty cool card. You know, it feels like he just does a lot of annoying things. Although, actually, no, this is just the V. The V Max is really where it's all at. But uh, obviously, you have to go through him. Snipe shot, 40 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Reveal their hand, which is not nothing, but you don't do anything to it. Okay, so we're getting a good amount of Vs. Can't complain there when you don't have so many packs. And if we look at it like this, where so far, basically at this point, we, we would have, this is the last pack, we would have opened an ETB's worth. And for me, par for the course for ETB is just one hit. So, so far we're doing quite well. Still haven't found the cards we are looking for. All right, last box worth. Oh, if you guys are looking for the next set, Dark Darkness Ablaze, uh, actually, they're already on Game Nerds. Uh, I think the booster box is ninety dollars for free shipping to the U.S. So to put, I put a link down below to their store. And if actually, if you use that link, it does support this channel. Age Slash. All right, three packs remaining. Man, this card is so hard to find. Whoa, I'm. Don't remember back in Team Up how easily we pulled Jirachi. I do know I had a like a good amount at that time. It wasn't. I was playing online, but not IRL, so I wasn't really tracking tracking my uh, IRL Jirachis. But it, I remember it wasn't too bad. All right, two packs. This last one has not been great. Oh, did you guys see what I just saw? The 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 strongest card in the set, especially if you have attended our stream, we got Mr. Dan. He's just the regular rare, but we will definitely take it. He belongs right here with the other cards, with the other hits. Dan the man, Pinnacle, and then a Syndrace. Actually, this might be my first Syndrace. So I will take that. I feel like Syndrace V Max was one card that some people were thinking about before the set came out, and then then nothing. <laughs> Sindrace V, so we got two of the starters, and we don't get the last one, that's okay. We have plenty of Rillaboom. Last pack, out of 12, so far four hits. I'm pretty happy with the results of this opening. Still no boss's orders. Still only one for all the packs they've opened. This is crazy. Uh, obviously, we don't need them yet, but... I think I'm honestly ready to throw in the towel in regards to finding them. We got a Vickavolt Hollow for the last pack. What does this guy do? 20 more damage for each energy attached to all your Pokemon. That's kind of cool. Then 130, 171 and 30 damage to itself. All right, so yeah, once again, we did get a very solid hit in the Eldegoss, one Dan and three Vs. For 12 packs, I will take that all day. 
but uh, yeah, still no boss's orders. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me today. As always, uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Awana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.